Still walking. Got a ways left. Russ is kind enough to carry the board. We're gonna try to make this happen. Yep. So, thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> Floatwheel ADV and ADV Pro are fairly new offerings to the one-wheeled electric skateboard market and what have looked to be the first factory-produced alternative to the one wheel made by Future Motion. In this video, I'll be showcasing a range test I did with the ADV Pro as part of a series of range tests in an effort to look at how it performed in the context of two other boards I tested at about the same time. And so three consecutive range tests were done. This one for the ADV Pro, one for the One Wheel GTS series, and one for my own custom VESC board, which I call the Galleon. The GTS range test was published prior to this video, and the custom VESC board test will be published shortly after this. I did my best to place these tests as close together as possible with the closest ambient temperature in order to make these as comparable as possible. So while these mileage figures may not be what someone else gets, they are at least as accurate a comparison as I could get in these circumstances. Some riders may get more mileage, and that's good, but what these tests may highlight is the relative range that these setups may get when compared side by side. Incidentally, this particular range test I had to do twice. The first one netted a fairly low figure, even for this kind of ride, and after checking things over, I found that the tire pressure was at 10 PSI, which is less than I normally would have it. That first ride got me 20.3 miles. After being reminded that the right thing to do would be to do it again, I pushed the schedule back and did it again. So ignoring that first ride, the details are as follows. Battery was of course charged to full, which is an hour left on the charger after a green light and full battery confirmed in the app. Tire pressure was set to 14 PSI, as it has been for all the other range tests. Rider weight with gear is 195 pounds or 88.5 kilos. Ambient temperature was about 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 12.7 Celsius. Riding speed was a constant 20 miles per hour, give or take one mile per hour, or about 32 kilometers per hour. The relive recording averages out stops into the top speed, of which there were a few to start and land the drone, so you'll have to take my word for that again. There was again a moderate crosswind almost the entire ride, sometimes shifting into a headwind in both directions, due to the route being not just right off the water, but between waters. Most of the route was flat, with some slight inclines and declines due to bridges. On this ride, I was able to ride 23.3 miles, or 37.5 kilometers, before the board went into low voltage tilt back and made me stop riding. It's at this point that I consider the range test complete. Afterwards, I went into VESC tool and lowered my low voltage tilt back settings, which you should definitely not do, seriously, but I did it just to see what I could squeeze out of the battery before the BMS shut off. I got half a mile before the board's BMS completely shut power and introduced me to the pavement. Thank you to the new Flatland 3D Carbon Gloves for protecting my palms during that fall. They did very well, and I like those gloves very much. Fortunately, I was riding with my colleague Russ Martin, who was able to carry the float wheel on his custom VESC board using a 75 volt meat pack battery for about a mile and a half while I walked. Considering the float wheel is about 38 pounds, this was very welcome to help. I got a bit too ambitious this time around and assumed that the extra tire pressure would have gotten me over 25 miles, but I was wrong. And so we both ended up walking anyway. And carrying boards a couple of miles really sucks no matter which way you slice it. Here we are. Still carrying our boards. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so make better choices than I did. And again, thank you to Russ for being so gracious about the ride test, as I would have been way more salty about it. The guy basically conducted a masterclass in taking things in stride. If you're on Long Island or thereabouts, do check out his shop Beast Coast Repairs, link in the description. Now, the battery in the float wheel ADV Pro is a 20S 2P configuration, which is 20 cells in series, with two cells being in parallel. It's rated at 604.8 watt hours for context. 
As usual, rider weight, ambient temperature, and ride style will affect energy consumption and therefore range. Anyway, that wraps up this installment of the range tests, and the next one is for my own custom build, and that video will be out shortly, so make sure to subscribe. As always, thank you for watching.